Hey dudes, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, we are gonna make Jello Jigglers. We're gonna make some holiday themed Jello Jigglers, and I know y'all probably remember these from when you were kids. I do. I've got some variations for you though today. We're gonna do like an icy winter wonderland looking one, and then a red and green for Christmas, and I'm gonna show you a little trick to make one of them a little bit more grown up friendly, if you know what I'm saying. So let's get to it. I'm gonna do is spray my pans with just a little bit of oil super light get the sides and then we'll set that aside so it's ready for us later and so this first one I'm gonna do we're gonna use blue um, berry but I've also got some mini marshmallows in here and it's gonna kind of give it a frosty snowy look you'll see later on but so about three cups of miniature marshmallows And then I've got some boiling water, and we're just gonna whisk this together. You just wanna get the jello to dissolve, and then the marshmallows will kind of start to melt. Okay, once your jello's dissolved, and you see the marshmallows are still some little pieces left, some whole marshmallows. We're just gonna pour it into our pan here. Okay, and then go ahead and refrigerate this one and start on the one for the grown ups. For our grown-up one, I'm gonna use some cherry. You could also use strawberry. Well, you could really use anything you want, but for this one, we want red and green. There's that, and some more water. And then we wanna whisk this till it's combined, and I only put a cup of water in now, unlike the other one, we did a cup and a fourth. So once this is all dissolved, we're gonna add our not-so-secret secret secret ingredient, a little bit of Guess what? It's not water, uh, it's vodka. So a little bit of that. You don't want to add too much or the jello won't set. So we're just doing a quarter cup, although you could do like up to a half a cup and then three quarters of a cup of water. It's up to you. And we'll pour this into our other pan and go ahead and stick that in the fridge. So we'll let these both chill for about two to three hours until it's set and then we'll come back and do the second layer. So a couple hours later, this is what we're looking at. It's nice and set. I'm gonna get another package of blue. And I'm using a, some kind of container with a spout here because it's gonna make it easier when I layer, layer it on there. Okay. And now when you're doing any kind of layered jello thing, it's gonna be um, a big help if you can get a large spoon like this and kind of use it to pour the jello on really gently. The spoon kind of helps to break the fall. So just hold the spoon upside down and pour it over the back of the spoon. It kind of disperses it a little bit so you don't end up melting into the cold jello at all. If that makes sense. Okay, awesome. Now just back in the fridge for a couple more hours. For our red and green, the second layer, we're gonna use lime. So this kind of ends up tasting like a cherry limeade, which is pretty good. And again, just a cup of water, again with the vodka. Wait. And then just gently pour it over the spoon again. And, and you could really do as many layers as you want. I did one earlier with a yellow layer in between, and that was really pretty. Fantastic. We're almost done. Just gonna put this back in the fridge for a couple more hours and let the electricity do all the work. Okay, so a couple hours later and everything is totally solid. It kind of looks like a ice skating rink and it, I was just thinking it would be super adorable if you could find some little toy figure skaters or ice skaters. You could actually just like serve it like this. That'd be pretty cute. Okay, so I'm just, I've got some hot water in this big pan here from my kettle and you just wanna set it down in there for 10 or 15 seconds. And then I'm gonna get my little spatula and just kind of run around the edges to make sure we're not sticking. All right, so once you're loose around the edges and everything's loose, 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 we're gonna get our cutting board, sit it on top of there, center it as much as you can, and then pick the whole thing up and grip it really tightly, like the world's biggest and hardest sandwich, and then just do a really quick little flip -a Ta-da! That's pretty cute. Okay, now I'm gonna show you 
how to cut it into diamond shapes. That seems like a good little decorative shape that's still easy to cut. Okay, so to do diamonds, you wanna go diagonally and then crossways. So not perpendicular, but see what I mean there? See what I'm doing here? Okay, cool. I'm gonna show you one of these little, what these layers look like here. Look at that. Isn't that neat? I think it's cute. And then I have the other ones. I've already flipped up, flipped the other ones out and uh, cut those up. So you can kind of arrange them like upside down side so you get a little green and red. Anyway, pretty cute. Also, if you wanted to give kids some cookie cutters and just let them do it themselves, then that's fun too. So I'm gonna try the boozy one. <laughs> I'm gonna try the grown-up version. I'm like a vodka cherry limeade. Pretty good. So these are also kind of like jello shots, but you don't have all the waste of those little plastic cups and stuff like that. So, um, you know, for whatever, fun Christmas party. They're very beautiful, like little stained glass. All right, well, thank you for watching. I hope you try this and maybe come up with some of your own variations. Um, there's also a playlist at the bottom if you want to check that out with some more recipes that use Jell-O. So have a wonderful holiday, everyone, and this lady will talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.